How well can a $109 DAC and a $99 preamp and headphone amp sound? I have hardly reviewed equipment in this price category, but this time I couldn't resist. At those prices it had to be Chinese and then batch engineered by a US company. Wrong. According to their website the Atom Amp Plus and Atom DAC Plus are engineered, machined and assembled from their facilities in Collinsville, Illinois, USA. And that made me very curious. But let's first see where to use the pair. Although both can be used individually, I'll show them here used together. The most likely source is a computer running a streaming app or music player with music stored on the hard disk. But a streamer with USB music output can be used too. Think of a Raspberry Pi based streamer. It is to be connected over USB to the Atom DAC Plus that in turn is connected over RCA cables to the M Plus. If the computer is connected to the internet and the right software is installed, both streaming services and internet radio can be played too. For listening you can use a set of headphones. As you might know I am no headphones listener, so I would connect it to an amp using a pair of RCA cables and have a pair of loudspeakers connected. Alternatively a pair of active speakers could be used too. Since there also is an optical input on the DAC and an analog input on the amp, other sources like a CD player, MP3 player or TV can be connected too. Both Atom products have a plastic housing with a heavy metal top. They measure 126 by 126 by 36 mm each. The total stack is 72 mm tall. The DAC weighs 0.4 kilos, the amp 0.44 kilos. The amp plus front has an input selector, a gain selector, a volume control and a 6.3 mm headphones output. A light ring behind the volume control shows the amp plus is switched on. The review sample came with an optional external rocker power switch. There is no power switch on the amp itself. The DAC Plus only has an input selector. Here the light ring isn't hidden behind the volume control since there is none. On the rear the DAC Plus has a 15 volts DC power input, a Toslink input, a USB Audio Class 2 input and a pair of analog outputs that normally are connected to these line inputs on the M Plus. Next to it the line outputs. A second source can be connected to the analog 3.5 mm jack input. The amp is powered by a 16 volt DC wallboard power supply while the DAC Plus comes with a 15 volt DC wallboard power supply. Both Atom products can't be opened by the user. Inside the DAC Plus we see the power supply electronics that cleans up and regulates the incoming voltage. The digital inputs find their way in here over an XMOS receiver chip. The digital to analog conversion takes place by the ESS 9018K2M DAC chip. A nearby voltage regulator provides stable power supply. 35532 up amps do the IV conversion and output buffering. It's a simple setup but well designed. I have measured DACs that cost a lot more that didn't measure this good. For instance the total harmonic distortion plus noise measurement where a 1 kHz tone is fed to the DAC and suppressed in the measurement. It shows a second harmonic at minus 120 dBs and a third harmonic at minus 83 dBs while the overall noise floor is below minus 140 dB. That as such doesn't guarantee a good sound. The third harmonic being louder than the second might impact the sound character. And the impulse response shows the pre and post echoes that identify a simple reconstruction filter that always measures fine but also causes time smearing. But higher performance filtering can only be found in DACs that also have a clearly higher price. Again the power supply on the left. 
On the right the input select and gain switches with left of it the volume control. From there the signal goes to a 5532 op amp plus a Texas Instrument LME49600 headphones buffer amp per channel. From there the signals are sent to either the line output or the headphones output. That's all folks. And it works. In use the DAC Plus is very simple to operate. Connect the power supply to the mains and to the DAC Plus. Connect the source over either USB or TOSLINK. Select the input used with the switch on the front and you are set. The M Plus is just as easy to operate. Connect the source, the DAC Plus or other line level source. Connect either a pair of headphones, a power amp with speakers or a pair of active speakers. Select the input and set the volume. If you need a higher output level, press the gain switch which increases the level by 12.8 dBs. Since headphones are no reference to me, I connected the Atom stack to my NAD C316 BEE amplifier and DALI Oberon 1 loudspeakers in my reference setup 3. The source was the MacBook Pro 13 inch Intel running Tidal. I also use the DAC Plus directly on the NAD amp for comparison. The equipment is housed in a target rack. This is a very good sounding DAC for the money. Even for twice the money. The lows go deep, the mid range is cleaner than to be expected and the same goes for the highs. The stereo image is limited by the NAD amp not by the DAC. Sibilance is the weakest point of this DAC but still is better than many decks costing triple and gets better using the M+. The Atom Combi sounded so nice on setup 3 that I hooked it up to setup 2 to see the limits. The amp here is the Marantz PMKR Pearl Lite which I put in power amp only mode. It drives the Acoustic Energy Radiance 1 loudspeakers connected over Kimber 4 pl loudspeaker cable. They are supported by the RHEL T5 subwoofer that is connected to the loudspeaker terminals on the Marantz using the cable that came with the sub. The source was the MacBook Pro 13 inch Intel running Tidal. The equipment is housed in the same target rack. Here also a lot of sound quality can be enjoyed although the blue sound node with PD Creative power supply sounds better let alone the Denafrips Aries. It all comes at a price. The difference to the node is over the entire field. Stereo image, resolution and involvement. Only the sibilance is controlled at the same level. But for the Atom Combi that is nothing to be ashamed of. I have listened to those cheap Chinese DACs and even did a video on one where you had to modify the circuits a bit to get a proper sound quality. For a little more you can have the DAC Plus as tested here and the difference is clear. The DAC Plus is a very good DAC for the money while the AMP Plus gives it a further slight improvement in sound quality for those that use a power amp or active loudspeakers. If you order the combination also order a set of very short RCA cables and the rocker power switch from the web shop. They cost little money and are very convenient. Which brings me to the end of this video. As usual there will be a new video next Friday at 5 pm Central European time. If you don't want to miss that, subscribe to this channel or follow me on the social media so you will be informed when new videos are out. Help me reach even more people by giving this video a thumb up or link to this video on the social media. It is much appreciated. Many thanks to those viewers that support this channel financially. It keeps me independent and lets me improve the channel further. If that makes you feel like supporting my work too, the links are in the comments below this video on YouTube. I'm Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you on the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, Enjoy the music.